Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Olivier and we have our mid-year check-in for Service in Action. As you guys are aware, this is a compulsory part of your NYP curriculum. So it's important to make sure that we do this properly. So let's start with gathering evidence. You have to prove that you've actually accomplished your goals. And you can do this with photos, emails, letters from your coaches. Or if you have any concerns, just ask your homeroom tutor or send me an email. So let's have a look at what you have to do today. So some of you might already be finished with your project. For example, Max. He interviewed people from education above all and wrote a magazine article that has been seen by more than 600 people. So he needs to update that on this slide. He needs to update his evidence and say that he's finished. However, he hasn't done a creative or physical yet, so he would need to add that now. So let's look at another example by Haley and Hesse. They have done an amazing job. They have 20 slides full of research about marine conservation. And they're making these wonderful clay figurines that they're going to sell to try and protect marine creatures. So they need some help to do this. Once again, they use this slide to do this. This is where they write that they need help in selling their figurines and help in finding a place to donate the money. When I see that, I can then help them. But what happens if you realize that you actually can't do your service in action? Well, that's not the end of the world. So for example, Jean, he wanted to do a project to get a drone club for CISC, but he couldn't go ahead because when he researched this, he realized it was illegal. However, as you can see, if we choose the outcomes, he hasn't failed. You know, he has to be ethical. He has to follow the rules of the country. So he's shown international mindedness. He's also given himself the challenge of trying to find out the legal things of a different country. So in actual fact, he's achieved his outcomes. So guys, please don't underestimate the difference that something small can make in helping our planet. And remember that there are many people available who will help you to help others. So let's get going.